A really frustrating thing happens when you start to lose weight. Nobody notices. Now, this is really hard because in the beginning, when you're first starting out on your weight loss journey, that's when your self-confidence uh, is at its lowest. It's also when your confidence in your plan is at the lowest, and it's when you need the most encouragement. But unfortunately, in the beginning is when you're the least likely to actually get congratulations on your progress. And there are several good reasons for this. First, let's talk about some reasons why this may be happening. Number one is you may not have lost enough weight for people to actually notice it. Now, again, I know that this is really frustrating because, you know, the first five pounds are really difficult. Like you're doing new things, you're trying really hard, you're breaking bad habits that are really well ingrained, you're working hard, and it feels like you've put forth all this effort and maybe you can tell a difference, but that doesn't mean that everyone can. I think it might be helpful to show you a photographic example of what I mean. So in 2015, I was taking weekly progress photos of myself. I was working out really hard at the gym every single day starting in February, and I really wasn't losing that much weight, but I did lose some. So I'm going to show you a picture of me at three different weights, and I want you to look at these photos and see if you can tell how much, if any, of a weight difference there is between the three photos. If you need to, go ahead and pause the video. So here are the actual weights I was at. Now, maybe you were able to tell that there was a nine pound difference there between those two photos, but I looked at those photos and I really couldn't tell. I couldn't say with any degree of accuracy what my weights were. Even when I knew it, I, I quickly forgot like which ones I was having to like look back at my spreadsheet and see which one matched which weight. So even if you've lost nine pounds and no one is saying anything, just realize it's harder for them than you may think. And remember, nobody's like carrying around a before picture of you and, and trying to compare it to like what you look like right now. There are many different factors that make it really hard to tell. Not only are you not posing the same way, but also you're wearing different clothes. You know, the, the angle that you're looking at someone is going to be different uh, and you're just interacting with them throughout the day. You're just not thinking about these things. Here's another really unfair thing about this. It takes losing more weight when you're at a heavier weight in order for the results to be noticeable. A five pound weight loss on a 300 pound person is 1.5%. On the other hand, someone who only weighs 150 pounds, but who loses five pounds has lost double the percentage amount. So, which is again, just kind of unfair, but you might be sitting there saying, no, I have lost more weight than that. I've lost maybe 30 pounds and still people are not saying congratulations. So what's going on there? Here's the most likely explanation. They're just not paying attention. And this is something I really had to learn on the weight loss journey. You know, people, I thought people really had noticed that I had gained weight and they were, you know, aware of, you know, that I was losing. But it was only later on that I found out many people, even close family members, hadn't really noticed that I had gained weight. They would say, you know, I started looking at some old pictures, you know, this was when I got down to my goal weight. And they would say, yeah, like you, like I didn't realize that you gained weight, but you know, you really have lost a lot. And you might think, well, how is that even possible? But for many of us, we gain weight really slowly. It's gradual. I mean, think about it. If you gain a pound a month and you just do that consistently for a few years, like say five years, you've gained 60 pounds, but it was really gradual. And likewise, you know, when you're losing weight, it's going to be gradual again. So it's just hard for people to really understand that you're losing weight. And despite what you may think, for most people, this is just not something like high on their list of things to think about. Your weight is like way, way down there on the list, if it's even on there at all. Most people are thinking about their own weight, their own health, their kids, you know, their husband, their spouse, whatever it is. Uh, and in where you're at on the weight loss journey, it's just not a thing that they're thinking about. Now, the third explanation is that there are some people who do notice that you've lost weight, but they're not saying congratulations because they don't want to hurt your feelings. The thing about congratulating somebody on their weight loss is that it's kind of a two-edged sword. In that moment when someone finally congratulates you and says, hey, wow, you've lost a lot of weight. What I found was, I was like, yay. And then immediately I thought, oh, like, so they did notice that I had gained weight and, and it stung a little bit. And that can also kind of make you feel a little bit more pressure. Like, oh, someone noticed that I lost weight and now they'll notice if I regain the weight, which was a big fear of mine. In other words, it may not be as rewarding as you think it's going to be when someone finally does notice. But what can you do if you're sitting there right now and you've lost weight and you're really frustrated because people are not congratulating you? The first thing you can do, and I think this is the best thing you can do, is to decide to be your own encourager. 
you have to get in this habit of just celebrating every pound and not really caring if other people understand what's going on and, and, or even if they notice or not. Because ultimately, weight loss is a gift you give yourself. Another thing to do is to just take advantage of this time that you're flying under the radar. Nobody's really paying attention right now. That is really freeing. You know, for one thing, it can make it a lot easier to tweak your plan. Like so many times we start out on one plan and we're having results, but you know, we start to realize like, oh, I don't like this plan. <laughs> you know, like I'm starting to resent it. If you've told everybody about what you're doing and, and like everybody knows, it can be harder to change. Another thing you can do is to take some progress pictures of yourself and save them. And that way you can see the progress, even if other people can't, and you can look back. And I am really glad that I did this. I have all of my progress photos from 2014 all the way through uh, until 2016 when I got down to my initial goal weight. And I'm really glad I did that because it helped to motivate me. So even during those times when people weren't noticing, I could look back and say, you know what though, I can tell a difference. You know, maybe not other people can, but I can. And it kept me motivated. Even in maintenance, it kept me motivated because I was able to like look back and remind myself, you know, it was a process getting this weight off. It took time and effort. And so it kept it fresh on my, on my mind and it made it so that I was motivated con to continue to do those things day in and day out to keep the weight off. And the last thing you can do is to tell safe people about your weight loss victories. Now, what do I mean by safe people? I mean those people who you know, beyond a shadow of a doubt, will, when you tell them, hey, I lost five pounds, they're gonna celebrate with you. They're gonna be so happy that you've made progress and they're gonna encourage you. Because the thing is, there are likely unsafe people in your life. And what I mean by that is not that they're bad people, but they maybe are really pessimistic and maybe they're discouraging. And that's not what you need on the weight loss journey. You need those positive people cheering you on. So I hope that right now, if you're in that place where you've been losing some weight, but maybe people just haven't been congratulating you, you can understand why that might be. One thing I can tell you is that it's not because they notice that you've lost weight and they're just withholding their congratulations until you've lost enough weight, which is actually, I'm ashamed to admit what I thought when I was initially on the weight loss journey, I thought that people were just, you know, basically trying to tell me by their silence that I just hadn't lost enough yet. But as it turns out, most people, even my husband hadn't really realized that I had gained weight and they also didn't really realize that I was losing it. And it really wasn't until I had lost a significant amount of weight that people even started to mention it. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.